Okay. Living. You look like a girl in that picture. <laughs> Alright. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi. My name is Phil, and I'm a boy who enjoys playing with makeup. And for today's video, I have a special guest here with me today. Hi, my name is Celeste. As you all may know me, my name is Henry. I'm a little drag queen. And Phil invited me to his little YouTube channel. So little? Little, but gonna be big soon. <laughs> so you know, it's a little get ready with us and stay tuned if you want to get these looks. Alright, so yeah, so if you want to see how we got this look, then stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. This is you. And welcome back to my channel. One thing I don't notice that shit. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we're just getting ready? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so right now we're getting ready. Yes, God. Yes, God. Okay. So what, so what look are you going for today? So behind all of this manhood that I have, all this butchness, there's a woman who's just screaming for help. And I'm trying to emphasize that. So I'm gonna take you from a pumpkin to something. Ooh, yes. <laughs> um, um, I'm just gonna go from a boy with pores to full face. Go same thing. <laughs> same here. Okay, so we're gonna start. Although you're gonna take us to a different fantasy. I'm taking to a whole new world. I'm gonna take you. I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch. I'm her. I'm all types of women. She's gonna bring you. Shade. Shade. Girl, can our fans calm down? I know, right? They're all like... Ugh. The fans are quaking. <laughs> They're quaking, bitch. <laughs> so, for me to get into a woman, I have to glue my eyebrows down with an Elmer's glue stick. It's like the typical drag thing I do, so you've probably seen thousands of videos of this, but you're gonna watch another one, so yeah. Actually, I don't know how to do it. I tried it once. Oh, bitch, it, get ready, get ready. You're gonna see, you're gonna see, you're gonna see how it's done. I'm gonna like, this is for all the bitches out there that tell me that this is easy. It's not. It's not easy. I have to use prosthetic glue after this. This is not easy. <laughs> oh, girl. This is like the most, this is what takes me the most. I'm Let me sure. crack out my Le Mer. Le Mer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, bitch, you have Le Mer? I wish. People are gonna say I'm extra. So, I really wanted this. Bitch, you are extra. You are so. <laughs> do you know how extra she is? She was. She has three of these. Who the fuck needs three of these? Uh, I do not have three. What are you talking about? <laughs> she does not have three. So I was looking ever throughout Orange County for this Elf Prime and Blur stick because I saw reviews of it. Anyway, so I went to the Elf store in LA because everywhere here was like sold out or totally like they just they, they just like, didn't have like a slot for it on the uh, on the shelf and then about like a week ago i saw this at target <laughs> <laughs> like of course right girl no oh, uh, accents on set accent on set accent on call set. the permanent call it girl call it so while this is actually drying i'm not done yet i'm gonna prime my face and i use like three primers so my primers are, are we doing a get ready or are we doing a tutorial I say get ready with her tutorial. People want to know. Pe people want to know about me. Bitch, I've never... Uh, I'm like new to this. Fuck you. I'm new to this. <laughs> I say fuck you, Phil. <laughs> Are you going to walk off set? I'm going to walk off set. Oh, thank you. I need that. Alright. So, for like the T-zone layer, I use a Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Which with is a spoon? Like, no, that's for my eyebrows. For my outer, for like my beard, I use the e.l.f. hydrating primer because I shave and it gets kind of irritating. And to Not make... sponsored. <laughs> or are we? <laughs> no, we should get sponsored. <laughs> and then to make everything blend in and seep in, I use a Meyer Dibuscus spray and the rose water that everyone has. I am still letting it set in. So since these eyebrows aren't done, they're still kind of a little bit... To have more protection, that's what I feel it is, I use Ben Nye uh, Spirit Gum and I kid you not, like... You put this on your skin, like nothing's coming off. Like this little bottle is like the death. Link down below. Okay, so I'm putting on this Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Foundation. Um, Don't take your time, honestly, take your time. I bought this on one of my moments of I'm trying to find something at the drugstore that's comparable to something at Sephora. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm color correcting my skin. I have a beard under. And I'm using this brush, a dress up brush. I love these brushes. So what is it from? It's just, I actually bought it on eBay. And they're like, I heard it from an influencer. And they like said good From Phil? Yeah, from Phil. I heard it from Phil. So I went on my birthday. I'm not joking. 
So, bitch, we went on my birthday, you know, I was, like, getting compliments and everything. People buying me drinks. Okay, and so that the studio audience knows. <laughs> the one studio audience. So it was a national holiday, July 14th. Um, and we had to celebrate it. We thought it was Pride, but no, actually, it was, it was her uh, birthday. Celeste's birthday. It is. Oh, yeah, and then my name is Henry. And then in drag is Celeste from Finance, Monday through Friday. <laughs> but on the weekend, I go by Celeste. Cool. I know. And you don't think color correcting, he doesn't think color correcting works, but... I don't think it works. It works. Like, if I the don't... The only one product I've ever used that actually did work is, um, the Wet n Wild color, color Corrector. That's the only one that has ever worked for me. Look, so this is an LA, I'm using that LA Color Corrector. So I take the, like, I take the thing off, because I feel like I get more product out. And I just dab it on my eyebrow. Like, look, look, you don't think this is, like... What I wrap. This, without color correcting, I feel like I can do drag. Yeah, but I feel like either it won't cover that or it'll just show on through. Shit. Um, but I guess you're going to show me today. Yeah, no. It will, like, it helps out. You have no idea, Phil. So this is, like, the... <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Bitch, look. You're done. <laughs> I'm done. Um, and everyone have a great day. Fine. Bye. Which concealer should I use with it? Should I use you have Makeup Revolution? Should I do I'm gonna should use Makeup Revolution? Should I do Kylie Cosmetics? Or should I do Kim Car? Kim K. I do the Kylie. And the shade Hickory. Dude, do you know how much breast breastplates are? No, I do. Do I wear breastplates? You look like it. These are real. So I'm gonna go with my Fenty foundation. I'm in this shade 210. And my Murphy sponge. And I honestly, what I do first is I cover my eyebrows. Girl, honestly, what eyebrows? Yes! Finally, color corrector works. So, I'm using the Kat Von D dip brow. Thanks to this clean right here after the review. A medium mm -hmm. brown. Yes, finally! Someone I, that benefits from my video. You like it I, I do, I do. But who was the number one supporter? Who was the one who made you actually do this? <laughs> is that like a trick question? <laughs> yeah, who was the one who's like, girl, you gotta go for your dreams? Okay, it was like a combination of people. It was like you and Magali. Okay. Who you like, bitch? You better fucking mention me. I know. I'm just taking a face powder. Oh my god, come on. Okay, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Eyebrows are hard though, in general. Oh yeah, this I like. I need to like even for them. natural people. No, I think it's natural much people. For natural people. So I'm just putting on my Kim K <laughs> filler on my nose. <laughs> Okay, that says no. Girl, I'm done. What? What's I'm, wrong? I'm done. No. <sighs> just do concealer to fix I it. Know. So I am just setting my face. I forgot I got two of these. And then we're having a problem here in um, the eyebrows. Just one there. Oh, that's there. That's cute. I just have to clean the top, the first of it, like the the beginning. Yeah. At the bottom. You're caking your face on. I do it all the time though. She's gonna have 16 eyebrows on before she gets the one. I know. No, but this is not how this is really how it goes down. I've done this so many times. We're gonna go in with this, um... You're like Saks Fifth so Avenue. far away from me. You're like so ahead. Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, just a simple little contract kit that I picked up. Just, you know, last minute. Last minute. Yeah. I was, and I was like, excuse me, I just need just like a simple contract kit. $80? Got it. That was 80 bucks. This is Laura. This is from Ulta. That's 80 bucks? No. Oh, okay. Like 20 $30. Dollars. I was like, you're fucking crazy. You should open like a store. Like, those like e-commerce stores should be like in Sephora or something. Yeah. Because shipping is not cute. No, it's not. So... It really isn't. Because like... But you know what? You need to buy... Like example, Jeffree Star, e-commerce. You need to buy his stuff on like Beautylish and stuff like no, that. No, but she has like... He's everywhere. He pops up everywhere. So it's not that bad. Like Kim K doesn't pop up everywhere. Yet. Or do other inline commerce where it's like free shipping, like Beautylish. If you do you spend forty bucks or thirty bucks or something like that, it's it's like free shipping. Really? Yeah. How much is the shipping? It's expensive. It's like ten bucks. It's 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 expensive. That's why I waited until until the until the pop up store to buy this. Yeah. I did it. I did it for the views. So can you do like crazy looks, like draw like moons on your face or like like a sunrise? Yeah, but I want. Have you tried that? No. That would be something cute. Okay, I the reason why I'm sticking to normal tutorials right now is because for one, I want to use it as like a way to like look back and see see myself, and two, kind of just like getting used to it and growing. Yeah. I just recently did a look with green eyeshadow. I feel that was yeah. I saw that was kind of cute. Yeah, and then I have another look in mind coming soon. Um, what I will. 
what I'll say about the look is this this look that I want to do. I originally wanted to do it for DragCon, but I couldn't find the products for it. What was it? I'm not gonna say you, it on camera. Okay, so now I'm just continuing. Oh, girl, we want to talk about. Okay, now that we're done with makeup drama, do you want to hear about drag drama? Grandma drama. Drag <laughs> drama. Drag drama. What's what's the drag time? So the do you know how like they're filming All Stars right now as we speak? No, I didn't know that. They're filming All Stars right now. With who? Who do you think? Have you okay? So the people that go on All Stars are not on their social media for a while. Okay, I don't follow everyone on social media, so I don't know who... <laughs> who do you assume is going to be on All Stars? The Ganja Estranja. No, she's not. <laughs> I don't know who. For sure, for sure, Valentina. I'm a diehard Valentina fan. I even have her pin. Wait, they can't post on social media at all? Or they have like, to? they had to take their phones away. Do you think it'd be illegal if... Or not illegal, but I guess a contract or whatever, if like... Like, say I gave my phone to you for you, for you to continuously upload... So, you wouldn't know that They don't care. They were all, like, if you, like, if I gave you my phone, if I went on Drag Race, then... Yeah. Like, no, that's fine. But, like, bringing a phone on set, from what I've seen, it's like, no. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. But I'm just saying. Like, that's what I would do. I would... Yeah, so, like, people don't know. They're like, no, yeah. he's still posting. Like, oh, well, they, like there's, I... a, there's a YouTube channel that I watched, and then, like, they predicted all the, like, season 10. They all came out right. So, do you know who's on there? And you know who I think you know who I think is like the Coco Montrese of the season? Who? You would not believe it. I was shocked. The Lagarde Stranger. No, she's not on there. I don't want her on there. I don't. She's I there. want a part two of. This is too fucking much. <laughs> 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 I think the That's in this thing. Trump world we need a part two of. This is too, too fucking, fucking much. much. So for sure it's Valentina, Naomi Smalls. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. Pheromone. When they exchange and uh fuck with Latrice is on there, Manila's on there. Again? Yeah, they're giving her redemption. Monique Man Oh, Jasmine Masters. Oh uh, no, she made the she made she does she does do funny memes though. We both bought this palette together and we're like we're gonna we're gonna do our first video with that. Oh <laughs> That's how long it's been since we've been trying to do a video together. Oh my god, yeah, for real, honestly. And the funniest thing is I did not bring it. Yeah. Oh, I'm going in with the uh, KKW, the brightening powder, just, just to brighten up. I was going to ask you, does that really work? Yeah, this one, out of all her products, this works. Like it, it's like a highlight? Yeah. Is this a brightening? Yeah. I don't see brightening. I see it. I see a spotlight on my forehead. Let's try highlight with this. I haven't seen that. What is that? This is the uh, press. I heard bad reviews about that. This one in particular? Yeah, that it was like bad. I like it. This was part of the mom man for the Chris Jenner collection. And then this is um You're doing amazing sweetie. And then it's it's basically like a highlight it has two highlighters and two blushes pretty much. Okay. But the blushes are shim are shimmery ish, shimmery esque and okay, I honestly just got this just for just for the packaging. Because mm. you're you're doing amazing sweetie. and then I like that there's a shade called It's Snowing Pussy Willows. Okay. Let's talk about real tea real stuff now that we're you know getting into the real parts of the of the video the meat of like our found a part the of our foundation meat. the vegan meat the vegan meat girl the f the the uh the tofu the tofu side of it the tofu side of it how did you get to make up where did you get to make up how did you get to where you are right now the reason i wanted to get into makeup was because well first of all i wanted to do drag and i wanted to do drag because i feel like drag to me i feel like it's a way of expressing myself in a visual way and just me i don't know when i get into drag i have like all this confidence and i feel so fucking fierce and i also love the power of transformation of makeup that's why i got into it and it's funny how i can go from like henry to celeste within like a couple hours that's why i wanted to do makeup um who inspired you to do with the final steps towards doing it. You to be honest, the person who inspired to, for me not to care about it was actually Phil. Because he came out with like all this confidence. When we used to work together, he'd come to work and like, he doesn't care what color highlight it was, if it was bright as fuck, he'd wear it. If it was like neon Blue. brown, <laughs> no, it was neon brown, <laughs> you'd wear it because it's still noticeable. Girl, you kind of, actually to be honest, you did inspire me a lot because you're the one who's like, who the fuck cares? And I was like, you know, you're right. Honestly. Honestly, like, why does it matter? And I was like, yeah. You say that I inspired you. Well, you inspired me oh. to get more comfortable oh. in like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not editing that out. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. 
I feel like you inspired me to like push my limits because like when I first got into it, I was like stay natural, boy natural, make it look like I don't I'm not I'm not wearing anything. And I kinda with you you kinda like inspired to be like, fuck that, just push the boundaries, go further. When I was younger, I used to have thicker eyebrows and like my mom used to be like, You have caterpillar eyebrows and like Oh my god, and, is that the worst? Yeah. And being a young child, a young glamazon child who didn't know anything was like I was like, I have caterpillar eyebrows, what? I didn't know any better or I didn't know. I was like, oh boys don't do anything. So I'm stuck I guess I'm stuck with this. <laughs> yeah. Fall after I like following Jeffrey, because I, I started following Jeffrey when I was like seventeen years old. And so just I finally caught on to the whole, you know, be yourself, who gives a fuck what anyone else thinks about you? And then I was like, who cares if I do my arrows? It's not gonna kill anybody if I like trim them down a little bit. I was like, uh, I wanna go, I wanna go next step. I wanna like fill them in. So mm -hmm. then I went in, I remember I'd go into like my mom's drawers and I was like, <laughs> it's funny, like mm -hmm. looking back then, I was like, oh my god, she has like everything. Yeah. And now I'm like, <laughs> honey, yeah, right. <laughs> I don't have anything. <laughs> First my makeup product I ever picked up was a Revlon uh, eyebrow pencil. Mm -hmm. one, uh, one end was pencil and the other was like a, was like a spoolie with like a liquid. And I started off with that. Yeah. It wasn't until like a couple of years later that I wanted to get into like more. It kind of, and then I kind of started off with like foundation and then I went to concealer and then I went to contouring. I didn't just like start off with like everything. Yeah. I kind of started off with stuff and then I started building. But um, I just like related to that and I was just, it was just another reminder for me to it now to always push forward. What would you, what would be like your life lessons to like people, to the younger kids? Mind your own fucking business. Why the fuck does it matter what I do? <laughs> Here, we'll like spill the tea. A good life lesson is stay in your lane. Yeah, that's true. Stay in your lane. Stay like, in your lane. That's honestly, like just that's definitely one. Yeah, stay in your lane. Don't worry about anyone else. Like worry about worry worry about yourself. Exactly. So we all have like our morals, things that we live by, and and someone comes in and totally like dis totally like, disrespects it and makes you like go against it, like, that's not, that's not a real friend, and those are the kind of people that you don't need in your life. There will be people who have the same blue, there's 8 billion people in this world. One person is bound to have the same one as you. I'm gonna spill the tea. Mm. So, one belief that I have is, I do believe, I do believe in true love. I believe there is one person out there for you. Mm. Uh, I do believe it's out there, I do believe it's possible. There have been people where they're like, no, that's not real, that's stupid, don't, don't believe in that, and... My thing is, like, if I know you can do it, like, if I know I can do it, then I can do it. So, like, if you believe in yourself... I agree with that. That's probably, like, a second, like, main, like, lesson that I have. I've definitely been learning. You can't wait for validation in other people. You have to... It has to yeah. come from within and you. And honestly, you shouldn't even ask anyone for validation because it's you at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, that's why when I started doing this... Right now, looks like a mess. But when I started doing this, the, when I thought about it... At the end of the day, to myself, and I'm not gonna die knowing that I didn't live my life how I wanted to live it. So that's why I'm doing this right now, mostly. And look at this eyeshadow. Like you cannot be telling me anything. Yeah, and like I say, this is like a moral thing too. I don't get cute. I get drop dead fucking gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, RuPaul. <laughs> oh, grrr. oh, grrr. leave a comment down below if you think that Celeste <laughs> joined RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, yeah. Hang on. So I'm going in with this beautiful rainbow uh, eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go dip into all the pinks today. So I heard, do you, uh, so I heard, uh, I don't know if you know about it, but the drama with like Life's a Drag and stuff. What's all the drama with the Life's a Drag palette? I was, I was reading about it. It's funny because you're so dramatic and I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> um, I was reading about it that supposedly that it came out bad as like the launch date and that, um, PayPal and accidentally refunded everybody, and PayPal was like, can you please give us the money back? Shut up. Yeah, literally, it was that bad. And they were like, oh, they were kind of annoyed about it, because, could you imagine paying, like, this, that would annoy the fuck out of me. If I paid for something, probably me, my save, my broke ass, I bought it, and like, you know, I'm kind of broke, and I have to pay that back, and that's annoying, do you get me? Wait, why would you have, wait, but, oh. Oh, I thought it was like an instant thing, like they, they instantly refunded. They, they refunded it, but they were like, can we please have it back? But it was an act, like it was an act. So what happened? Well, by law, they can they can ask you, but people won't give them, have to give it back. But some people felt bad and did give it back. 
I would have sort of been like, oh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> um, wait, by law, they don't, you don't, wait, if they fuck up like that, by law, they don't have to, do, what? They don't have to. They don't have to by law. Damn. And so you're, Miss Thing, you, you would have been like, what money? Yeah, what money? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you took it from me, remember? Wrong number. <laughs> it's really an email, wrong number. Is it vegan? All my products are vegan. You nice fucking try. You can't catch me on here. Literally. My products are vegan too. You just had Mac on you. You just had wool hair. I swear, like I will catch you slipping a spell. Hopefully, we're not like covering our faces as we're like filming. I don't think we are. You might be, but either way, we're gonna have like the finished look. Barbie's girl. I mean Barbie's world. Did you have you seen that new James Charles video? No, I haven't. Okay, so I'll just I'll give you the blowdown. So he could so he went to beauty a uh, con in a disguise of like an older gentleman and so he interviewed a bunch of like a bunch of a bunch of his YouTube friends. Of course, being like into his friend, they're like, Yeah bitch, we know it's you. And then he said he and then he said he went to interview like smaller YouTube YouTubers that he knew about and he said that Almost every one of them were super rude to him. Really? Yeah. And I'm just talking about you. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so the point I wanted to make by bringing up the James Charles thing was when I become a big person, I really want to stay humble and when really just be famous. nice to people and when you just become famous. It, yeah. When I become famous, this reminds me of like who I want to be and how I want to be. Like I want to judge someone who like just because a guy is in their interview and interview like. Obviously, he's doing it just for his job. Yeah. If he's in there, like interviewing people, should I just show up to work with his makeup on? I'm here. I'm here, and I'm queer, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, and I'm all types of queer. <laughs> so, what does your family think about you, you, and you and makeup? They live for it. They actually do. That's cute. My mom. My mom is like totally supportive. She and I'm talking to her how I do stuff, and I'm like, this is how you do that. They're very supportive. They're not like, they're not, like, I think my mom only cares if I do something, like, it, like for you, like, any makeup's your passion, but like, I have other things. She just knows that, like, if you're going to school, you're doing something, like, it's just your hobby. I'm using Kaplan D Shade Light. Shade? Mm-hmm. And light. So, like, half, like, I'm pretty sure, like, all my family knows about my channel. Really? Do you think yeah. all of them do? What? Do you think all of them do? No, I do. Um, so, okay, so my dad knows, my brother knows, my cat knows. Do you, uh, -huh. uh one day I was working and my dad texted me. He's like, I saw your uh, YouTube channel and I was like... You should get to the floor. Yeah, and Do you know I'm oh, using this blush the one I want? That's my favorite brush. Thanks for interrupting my heart-to-heart -heart story. Yeah, you're saying. Anyways, I was like, you know how to work a computer? And then, and then he was like, it looks so professional. And I was like, I was gagged. You were? And then, uh, my mom doesn't know how to work a computer either, so she kind of doesn't really know what's going on with that. Mm -hmm. so, so she knows, but she's yet to see it. And then, uh, my f I have family members who are on, like, my Instagram who see it. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to my, my aunt's wedding, my cousin was like, oh my god, you're so good. You should, you should, you should do, do my makeup. And I was like, <gasps> The majority of the people on my work know that I do drag. And what's the, what's the feel? Do they live? Do they gag? Uh, both. I know who to tell, but a majority of them already know, and they're like, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Wait, are you living for this? I'm living for I was going to add black. I like, I like it because you have, like, different shades of pink in there. You don't think I know this by a girl. Have you, like, from thinking of dating someone? Or, like, have your eyes on anybody? No. Right now, I just want to like focus on myself, get the channel going, get my life organized. One of my coworkers, he came up with this like analogy of like, let the let the birds come to you. Yeah. So build your cage first, and then just let the birds come to you. But what do you think? They're cute. I love them. What do you think? Are we living? Oh, that's cute. What lashes will be taking to the next step? See, like, I finished, you know how messy it was, now it's like better. But when someone tells you on your YouTube channel that you're gay, what'd you say? What'd you think? I was like, well, you know, I was like, my first hate comment. 
<laughs> when, 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 and when I told people to, they're like, that makes you kind of like official. Yeah, I was going to say that's it. Wait, can I see how you, how you put on your lashes? Click down. Do you do any special tricks or do you just like... I just pop them on. I don't know why people think it's hard. And then you just pop them on. There you have it. From Silas to herself. Yeah, I don't know. You girls complain about it. It's you just put them on. <laughs> well, for those of you who find it too he hard to, just uh, fill up with hair. This actually work. I never tried Yeah. It. It's from Lily Lashes, so it would dorks for sure. You're gay, what? <gasps> Stop. I'm doing like the hardest part right now. Lashes take everything to like the next level. They do. Mm. Did you order a woman? Okay. Oh my god, we're like almost there. All right, I'm gonna go in with blush. You have a what blush is that? Tom Ford. Oh, I was gonna say this is Tom Ford. All right, I'm gonna put on Diva from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Alrighty, I think I'm done. Are you ready to set? Come on. I'm ready. I use two settings for this. What are you? Did you order two women? <laughs> oh, you are crazy for the hair. Okay, now we get me. Mm -hmm. Alright. This is the final look, and we'll be right back. We're gonna get into our Drag. Turning up into the gig. Oh girl, I live. She's a woman! Alrighty, and this is the final look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, we're good. Your name decreases. Alrighty, and <laughs> this is the final looks. What do you think? Get I... up in the gig, Henny. I don't know who Henny is, but get up in here, girl. Right up in here, get my close up, get everything. I look gorgeous in this monitor. Yeah, looks fucking fabulous. <laughs> and one word of advice we don't get cute, we get, we get drop, drop dead, dead gorgeous. gorgeous. <laughs> so, yeah, well, how do you feel about this look? Girl, I'm gagging, like, look at me. Like, I'm literally it. I don't know what it is, but girl, I'm it. I'm living for the pink. And this pink leather. Oh, and yeah. Pink lip. Look at her. 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 She's... Did you order two women? Because, you know, bitch, we're help. We have a side of fries, too. <laughs> and comment down below if, if I, A, if I'm a woman, B, if I'm a woman, or, or C, C, if you're a woman. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button down below. And if you enjoyed me, then subscribe to my channel, and be sure to hit that bell notification to be alert every time I upload. Uh, if you want to follow me outside of YouTube, my social media links will be linked down below. And oh, your um, stuff, will, will it be down below? It, it will be. I'm always down below. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if you love this and you love that, you know, tell Phil I might come again or I might drag him up. Yes. If you want to see me get dragged, uh, like this video, comment, if sound off down me, below. If you want more of me, because honestly, we're gagging. Yeah. We're all living. Honestly. Like, you take over my channel. It's yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl. Give you the keys. Done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.